What comes to mind if you're thinking of Spanish food? Ceviche type, oh. like tacos and stuff. And the pasta, oh my God, the pasta in Spain. There's a lot of food Spain shouldn't be taking credit for in this list, all right? I'm Ignacio Lopez, the world's only Spanish Welsh comedian. In Mallorca, many of the British people I met thought that Spain was just sunny beaches, patatas bravas, and infinitely superior football. But that is not the whole story. I'm taking over this classic London boozer and serving up the greatest Spanish menu ever created to Brits who won't even try paella on holidays. I've been to Magaluf and all I had there is English breakfast. Been to Tenerife. I made a beeline for the, the first British pub I could find. You know, we still like our fish and chips. The best things in Spain are British, aren't they? <laughs> if I can get them to embrace my national cuisine, then I can get anyone in the UK to. And with five hours till service and no bookings, I better get cracking. Here we go, folks. This is the pub that the production company have given me to take over. It looks great, but it's not Spanish, is it? I mean, look at the menu. Lancashire hot pot, fish and chips, sticky toffee pudding. I need a proper Spanish chef, somebody who cooks authentic Spanish food. Hello, Roberta. I'm looking for some incredibly authentic Spanish cuisine to be cooked this evening. It's too late, no, I'm so sorry. It's just somebody who's held some food in their hands any point in time. While the Spanish chefs I was calling were letting me down, thankfully my producers were British and couldn't deal with the second-hand embarrassment. They felt obliged to step in with a hot lead. Nives? Yes. From Sabor? Yes. Where were you 12 phone calls ago? Hello. Is there any way you're available this evening? I'm off tonight, so I think I can help you out. Lifesaver. I'll text you the address. Gracias. This just got real. Yep, meet Nieves Baragan from Sabor, winner of two Michelin stars, the best Spanish chef in the country, and now scrambling to get a menu together as my head chef in my British boozer. Time for me to find some very British taste buds. So when people say Spanish cuisine, what kind of food do you think of? Uh, mainly like tapas and paella. Paella. Oh, paella, of course. I mean, I've been... Paella. Paella, Spanish. Paella? Paella. Oh, and she okay. called it paella as well. Oh, oh. Charcuterie and stuff. Oh, charcuterie is French, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you like seafood? I love seafood. I'm a pescatarian. No way. Yes, I am, yeah. I'm Catholic. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you have plans this evening? I mean, we were just going to spend time together, but we can do this. Yeah, we're not going to separate you <laughs> for this. It's it. not a separate room. <laughs> yeah. oh, OK. That's a table of two sorted. As Nieves arrives at the pub, I bust out a secret language spoken only by me, Nieves, and 574 million other people worldwide. ¿Qué tal? Muy bien, ¿y tú? So excited, I can't believe you're doing this. No, no, I'm super excited to do this, honestly. I grew up in Mallorca, it's not uh, proper... I'm from Bilbao. It's in Bilbao, I mean, you know, it's very different, the yes, Basque food yeah, to the totally, Mallorcan totally. and, you know, to all this different stuff. Totally. Would you help me to show the people? Please, you know, let's do... Good Spanish food. ¿Quieres ver la cocina? Vamos. Bueno. Now that we're busies, maybe she'll go easy on the kitchen that I'm making her cook in. Chicos, it's gonna get hot. It's not gonna cook. So what are the place for the banderillas? There is no light in this size of the kitchen. Before Nieves finds anything else that wasn't adequate, the producers distract her with some probing questions. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. So I want to bring a restaurant that is a full journey to Spain. The gastronomy, north to south, east to west, is so diversity. It's incredible how we change the food. It's about uh, Segovia, West Country, Galicia. Because they are in the corner, <laughs> they have the best ingredients. They have all the Atlantic and, and just the clams, the shellfish. You know, you taste them, you're like, wow. And then you can have an amazing beer that will be even better. Galicia is very much the Wales of Spain. It's got its own unique cultural heritage, which is filled with Celtic stuff, which means, you know, they, they like the Celtic sports, uh, the Celtic music, uh, the Celtic flag, uh, a bit of a disdain for English. Oi. But, you know, that, that's all fine, and it's done in good humor and jest. This Spanish takeover needs a makeover. What can I blag to make this place look less pub and more taverna? Hello, I've been looking at your items you got online. I need some dried chilies today. What's the lowest number you could? 200. Yeah, we'll take 200, no problem. Do you have a, a, a bull's head by any chance? A badger or something? I don't know. We could paint it, make it look good, hot, no? Can we do tins of fish without the fish? It's terracotta. Have you got anything terracotta? Well, I can do your roof tiles. Yeah, that'll work. While the deliveries were coming and Nieves was cracking on in the kitchen, I whipped up some bite-sized content. So here comes me, in the dark again, being tested on my Spanish versus British snack game. 
This smells like seafood of some kind. I hope it's not actually just a little crab. It's got the flavor of disappointment. I'm gonna go with uh, British for that one. What would you say if I told you that's a scampy flavored fry? I mean, I'm still none the wiser. <laughs> it smells like petrol. Is this edible? I'm gonna say it's British because I know how much you guys love vinegar. It's got potato in there, and tomato based. I can't quite figure out what that's supposed to be. According to a high street retailer, it's patatas bravas. This is supposed to be patatas bravas. Patatas bravas means brave potatoes. These are shameful potatoes. Why is there chorizo in patatas bravas? This is... I don't think I want to play this game anymore. I had to wash away my eggy, pickly breath and park my anger of Spanish fake food as time was ticking and I still needed to get those bookings. Fish and chips, burgers. This is what I'm talking about. Have you ever been on holiday to Spain by any chance? Once, yeah. What kind of food did you sample while you were there? Mm. Definitely like ceviche type. Oh my God, the pasta in Spain is like fresh up there <laughs> over here. Taco is my favorite thing actually. Not the hard shell tacos, they are like soft shell. I feel like there's a lot of food I sh Spain shouldn't be taking credit for oh. in this list, all right? <laughs> Would you be interested in trying some new Spanish food? There's not nothing too yeah, spicy. No spicy. Oh, I mean, there's only one way to find out, isn't right. there? Just right. to try, yeah, why not? <laughs> Catch you later, okay? Definitely see you later. Okay, thanks Bye. ladies. Have you ever been to Spain? Yes. Yeah, we just yeah? came back. Yeah, you cycled back from Spain. <laughs> uh, did you happen to sample any Spanish food while you were out there? No. What's, uh, what's typical Hulk cuisine? Uh, chips and gravy. Chips and yeah. gravy, oh my <laughs> word, okay. And I want to show that Spain has the greatest food in the world. Does that sound like a good plan? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Excellent, let's do it. After Spain humiliated the English in the Euros, Maybe I can make peace by offering some beautiful Spanish food to these two football fans. Hey lads, I'm looking to let bygones be bygones, huh. you know, reconnect a little bit here, you know. I'm hoping that I can convince you to maybe try out some Spanish food this evening. What do you Sounds think? good to yes. us. Yeah. This is a Michelin star chef, okay? Ooh. So you need to maybe look your best on this one. Yeah, we can sure. do that. Have it. So what is it that scares you about Spanish cuisine? The language barrier and fish. I'm That's not sure what language the fish speak here, <laughs> but... I'm hoping they're gonna be very tasty. Would you be up for it? Yeah, excellent yeah. stuff. To authenticate my Spanish fiesta, I wanted to fill my last table with the King of Spain, or someone affiliated with him at least. Hello, is that um, the Spanish embassy? This is the Spanish Chamber of Commerce. That's close enough. Do you have anyone who can come and sample a Spanish menu that I wish to prove is the greatest Spanish menu? Let me have a think and I'll get back to you. Great, thank you, Rebecca, muchas gracias. No time to waste. My London pub still looked more Queen Vic than Queen Letitia. Uh, Letitia is the Queen of Spain. Q transformation montage. So let's get some stuff out there. Go, but I want this on a table. These are authentic terracotta dishes. Do we get this thing over here? I look like a green grocer. Put it out on one of the tables. Unbelievable. I thought that was pickled eggs again for a moment. Now filled with those incredible Galician ingredients, the inside of my pub had all the ambience of a San Sebastian rooftop terrace at sunset. I'm done. Ignacio, you're gonna need to be my waiter tonight. Can you do that? It would be my honor. Tocada! Gracias. Okay. Vamos! <laughs> I'm very curious to see what British people think of, uh, of authentic Spanish cuisine. If they can knock back so many drinks every night and polish it off with a kebab, I think Spanish food is gonna go down very nicely. And whilst Nieves was doing final prep on the dishes for my guests, I finally got the menu. Some of the food they're gonna try today, maybe they never tried before. So I'm super excited. But would my guests be ready for her dishes? Panderia just means it's gonna have a little flag on there as well, which is gonna be quite cute. Nice. The Basque piparras, which is a pickle peppers, and then you got the saltiness from the anchovies. You get an explosion from the qual egg. It's the perfect way to start with the beer. I choose the piquillo croqueta because the piquillo's peppers coming from Navarra. Also, it works so well in the pub. Is there anything that's scaring you at all? <laughs> I knew the fish. I've checked though, the fish is silent. So don't worry about the language sure? of the fish whatsoever. <laughs> the tuna is from South Spain. The main thing is the fino sherry marinated. So it's a classy dish but with a little bit of twist. How do you feel about squid ink? Ooh, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, <laughs> well, I've never tried it. We're so. going to find out. And people associate a lot of Spanish people just like paella. But also we do a lot of wet, or we call it runny rice. We cook the rice with the, with the ink 
from the cuttlefish. With Alioli and the monkfish, the bura, I can tell you, is one of the best sellers. Have you ever had monkfish before? Never in my life. Yeah. Don't worry, it will be dead. I always skip to the bottom and check the dessert before. <laughs> <laughs> Fix from Spain right now are amazing, so sweet. And then a white chocolate mousse. When you're having a spoon of that, it's like, okay. Armed with proper Spanish beer, the diners were ready to feast on authentic Spanish food as my final table was saved for the closest people to the Spanish and British monarchy. Miguel from somewhere called the Spanish Chamber of Commerce and George, the pearly king of Peckham. I did only have five hours. I can't wait. Gracias. Are you hungry? I am. I hope that blind date works out. Ignacio, por favor. Si. They are by tables, vale? Bueno, here we go, folks. Don't be giving me none of that four bite nonsense now, all right? I've been told by the chef, two to three bites, all right? Yes. The pescatarian was enjoying the fishy menu and the footy lads gave it a chef's kiss. This food really can do miracles. And I'm getting some tomato bread that I've never seen before. Thank you. No problem. Enjoy. Who didn't go for the anchovy? I should have known. Again with the fish. <laughs> I tried a little bit. Croqueditas. When I go to Spain to see my grandma, I ask her, can I have croquetas? Compliment to the chef. How is this regional Spanish food going down with my northern British chicas? How does it compare to chips and gravy? <laughs> it's pretty good. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. You go with the almonds and then you go with the sauce. Ignacio, where are you? Come on, man. Thank you, Ignacio. Geez, she can crack the whip. I think I preferred it when Nieves was my amiga. Not my boss. This is a bit of me. Oh, this is yeah. so good, so. I never had tuna taste like this. The monkfish, my friends. Does this compare to like the British tapas you would see this outside that cafe different. you were at earlier? Very different. Definitely now I know I wasn't eating those Spanish <laughs> Do you reckon we can now put the football behind us? Are we okay? You can make squid ink taste good. <laughs> we can put it behind. I want to try that dessert though, I can't lie. It's oh. on its way, guys. <laughs> So how is going the dessert? Where are the spoons? Ignacio, where are the spoons? Ah, oh. oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Maybe it was the service, okay. or maybe it was Nieves' amazing cooking. Oh, damn. Mm. But by the end of the evening, oh, my God. everyone was in love with Spanish food. I've never had a fig before. That, well, that, yeah, it's amazing. This is not food that you would have for like Tenerife or something like that. So it's something different. I want to go out there and, and you know, find the authentic Spanish restaurants and try their food rather than looking for the good old British pub. You know, so, yeah, it certainly opened my eyes. But was this authentic Spanish food fit enough for a Spanish king or his messenger from the Spanish Chamber of Commerce, as the case was? You know, when you are a Spanish and you live abroad, one of the things you most miss is the very nice and authentic Spanish food. And today, everything was awesome. Cheers to you. Uh, raise our glasses, applause to fantastic Nieves and her incredible team as well. Gracias. Remember how I said they played bagpipes in Galicia? It is a big sound for such a small taverna, so I might be immediately regretting this. Yeah, please stop now. That's enough. I wanted to create the greatest night of Spanish cuisine the UK had ever seen. Look at what we pulled off. Michelin star food, seal of approval from the Spanish king himself, kind of. Great entertainment. Everyone was happy. I am happy. The Spanish job is done. And I am done. <laughs>